No spring is here. Mm -hmm. um, that means the bears are waking up from hibernation. <laughs> yeah, you can see them today as workers at the John Ball Zoo prepare to reopen this season. Gabrielle Pfeiffer is at the zoo right now with what's new. She's been checking out the frogs. Anything more cuddly than that so far, Gabrielle? <laughs> Good. Yeah, and, uh, not yet, Teresa. Good morning to you and Donovan. As you all have said, a lot of new things, and we're kind of standing uh, next to or inside of one of uh, the lanterns that you will see for the Grand Rapids Lantern Festival. I've got Andy McIntyre here. He's the chief operating officer. So let's talk about this. So this is something that people will see beginning today, but it won't actually uh, be open or ready for people to really view until April, right? Yes, yeah, so April 19th is when this begins, but between now and then, every day at the zoo, you're going to see more and more of these get added for a when we unveil it uh, and it's in, in the evenings for people to see lit up and participate and come to the Grand Rapids Lantern Festival. Yeah, so we'll uh, talk about just the different things that you all have, the different lanterns and where they can maybe see that across the zoo. Yeah, there will be um, about a one mile loop throughout the perimeter of the zoo area and you're gonna see 55 of these different lanterns throughout. They're gonna highlight culture and wildlife and conservation and it's gonna be water, land and culture. So you're gonna get a chance to see see those it's stunningly beautiful some of them are over your heads you're going through tunnels life-size you know and larger than life flowers yeah. and animals to see it's really beautiful yeah I've, I've seen the flowers this morning and what you can't see right now across the way is the the, the habitat for the hippos I briefly talk about where you all are in in bringing the hippos here to the, to the zoo sure so um, guests that have come over the last two years have seen near the entry of the zoo a lot of construction happening and progress and uh, coming right now we we have our um, animals are getting introduced to the space and to each other. So there's pygmy hippos, sitatungas, and white stork all going to be in this uh, habitat together. And so we're currently in the process of introducing them to the space and each other. And after Memorial Day, that will be open to the public as well. All right, good deal. Lots of exciting things happening here at the zoo. And we've got more stuff to show you. And I've got stuff to put in my belly so we'll have to see exactly what that is Teresa and Donovan I'll send it back to you for now I don't know what that means something to put in her belly it, well, food obviously <laughs> it just dawned on you it, well it, it felt like it was some sort of Get in my like belly. joke you know <laughs> obviously it was meant to be taken literally oh my gosh. <laughs> okay <laughs> well, you may